Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here, bringing you guys the next live base build video. This is a Town Hall 11 one, and it was something that was requested when I originally did the survey, uh, the community post asking you guys which Town Hall level you wanted to see. A lot of Town Hall 10s, but also a lot of Town Hall 11s, a close second. Um, so I want to get a Town Hall 11 base build out there. It's not going to be the best base. I wouldn't necessarily recommend using it. Although if you're desperate, you know, maybe screenshot it. Can't hurt. Um, but this is a base. I'm just going to go through the process because that's kind of the important thing to take away at Town Hall 11. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to keep separate? It's a good example for uh, novice base builders or even intermediate base builders, people that are Town Hall 11s trying to uh, get some good ideas here. So we're just going to go through as I would, and I'll try to explain what I'm doing as best I can. Um, first things first, I like just to kind of make a core with the Electro Dragons being relatively strong, it's nice having some gaps inside your base here and there. So we're going to go ahead and make the uh, the core consist of these buildings all nice and spread out. So theoretically, Electro Dragons coming across the middle here uh, won't be able to get all those uh, bounces off different buildings and such. Uh, excuse my lower level walls. That's the only thing that's not maxed out on this account. Um... Next thing to think about, Eagle, Inferno Towers, and where the Town Hall is going to be. Let's just put the Town Hall for simplicity at the bottom here. Um, that's for the Wall Wrecker, Battle Blimp, want to understand how it's going to path right away. Um, and because of that, we will... Let's go ahead and put a single Inferno over on this side. This is not that different from our Town Hall um, 10 base building video, which you can go check out if you're interested in that. Um, a little bit of dead space, and let's actually have that dead space wrap around a little bit, like that. It can get a little smaller. Um, we'll go ahead and move everything this way a little bit. Um, we'll throw the eagle here. Okay, so put the eagle down, the inferno tower down, and then we'll put the other one over here on multi. Notice how we're making sure that there's no easy wall wrecker push through the base that can get all of those valuable buildings taken out. Um, let's slide this away from the core, get that nice gap. Um, don't want like a queen inside the core being able to shoot it down. Um, okay, I like to start filling in compartments a little bit. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that up there. Let's actually move that one farther out because we're either looking to have it be four tiles from the wall or two tiles from the wall. Those are your ideal distances. Reason being for anti-bowlers and anti-queen. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and have this compartment cut short like this. Uh, there we go. That looks good. <coughs> and then uh, what I can see us doing is we'll have the um, this compartment. We'll have it kind of be a its own little deal here. Let's move this out even farther. And this is going to kind of be separate um, in terms of how the walls are set up from everything else. So we'll go like that. We'll close that off. This is another variation you can do where we have this go up here and then down back over here. Inferno Tower is still very protected. Don't worry. Um, like, like that. Okay, looks good. Um, we're going to want the queen somewhere around here. We can, or not the, that's the king. Queen somewhere around here, we can move her later as needed, but queen placement, you know, it's not a huge deal. Uh, other sweeper we want somewhere near the core as well. And um, let's do this. Let's just start filling in compartments more. Let's actually move this stuff over one more, like such. And then we'll just start making some compartments out of all this. Um, so we'll do that like such. Um, let's make this a compartment above this multi. Looks good, looks good. Um, and then obviously we're going to want to you know, continue filling in compartments. I'm a big fan of that. Getting it, uh, the compartment squared away. Um, let's see. We can go ahead and... Uh, have there be a gap actually within the base instead of having there be buildings there. 
Um, we'll make this kind of a boxy compartment. That's going to be okay, especially for the back end of the base. And then um, we'll have the eagle be its own thing. Keep it, remember, the eagle has some special distances around it, so uh, right now bowlers cannot reach the uh, the eagle as it is from the outside that compartment, at least from the, the bottom side. Um, okay, we'll fill in walls like this. Once again, just trying to, um, not a whole lot to explain here, just filling in the walls of this base and um, trying to you know keep things separate, the important valuable buildings, trying to go for these nice uh, ratios in terms of where we want our buildings, stuff like that, um, in, related to the walls. Okay, so that looks good. Let's have, running a little short on walls, which I hate it when this happens, but it does happen from time to time. We'll have a compartment like that. That's fine. Um, it is a little weird, This there's like a, you can get very close to the base right here. I think that's okay. We'll put some valuable buildings on either side, so we'll make it really tricky for anyone to like take advantage of this little inlet in the base. It can kind of almost bait someone in that sense because we'll put some air defenses in uh, tricky locations here. We got one there. We'll put one over here. Um, I like keeping them relatively close to the single inferno but they also will be there will be wizard towers kind of watching over them won't make the bat spell value too easy there because that's an important thing we want to avoid um, and then I'm a fan right now of having air defenses kind of spread out around the base um, you can some people will, will kind of argue with that but that's how I like it right now um, okay looks good put an expo here and we're actually going to throw an expo back here. I want to keep it uh, a little bit of distance from the core there. I don't want to give too much value to bowlers or anything. Um, air defenses are all down. Sort of think about wizard towers. I think it would be really nice to have... We'll put it on the outside, not too close to that multi. Don't want to give too much like freeze value if they elect to freeze there. Um, put a wizard tower here. Going to want one up here just protecting the... Uh, uh, Inferno Tower, even though it is in range of air defenses and stuff, that's fine. Um, got two more. I think we can go ahead and uh, double up here. That'll be okay. And then we'll put our last air defense, or sorry, our last wizard tower. Um, we'll put it up out here. Just let it kind of hang out there. That'll be fine. Um, I am sensitive to this spot on the base, but if we make the funnel difficult, we can put the uh, put the king up over here. That would actually be a great place to put him. He can pull stuff away. He's just going to be a nuisance up there to any type of funnel operation or anything. Uh, single Inferno will keep him safe. So I like that. Um, I guess we'll put the warden there. Why not? Uh, we got one more expo, which is something to think about. We'll put this here to kind of prevent queen walks, make that a little trickier. Um, I like how the core, everything's kind of away from it on the back end. We have the dead space here, and then I guess we'll go ahead and throw a bomb tower here. No big deal if it's kind of touching the core. Um, but I like how the base has some good spacing in it, and that all looks good to me. Um, we will... Let's not put any defenses there to not make the pathing too easy into that multi. So we'll tentatively start putting some... Uh, buildings, some archer towers and stuff down. Um, throw an archer tower here. Put one up in here. And we'll put one like right there. Uh, cannon, it's a good place to put it. A little bit of distance out, makes it hard for hogs and stuff. Uh, cannon here would be good. And then I think we want to make sure we have plenty of defenses to make the funnel difficult if they do elect to try to kind of use this natural funnel and come down through here with like some kind of army for a hog attack or something. Uh, let's move the king out one further. Um, we'll throw out an air defense here. Or sorry, not an air defense, cannon. Uh, we'll put a cannon here. And we'll put one back here. Thank you. 
Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely still going to be sensitive to hogs on this one, just because we want to make sure that uh, a kill squad doesn't get too much value, especially if the king's able to be taken out for some reason um, as part of that push on the top end. But uh, we still have a few archer towers, a few things to put down, so we'll continue to think this through here. Got some gaps there. Might as well just add another archer tower here. Why not? Um, and then let's kind of finally put one right over here. So we're going pretty heavy in that sense over on that area. Um, move this stuff like that. Keep the town hall down. Um, okay, now we want to fill in some mortars. And something to think about here is the uh, defensive pathing. So uh, once again, keeping stuff away from this inferno tower. Put a mortar up here. We will put one over here. It's making the funnel a little difficult on that side. And I think it might be nice to have one like up over here um, just to kind of add to the protection of these defenses that are behind. Okay, everything looks good. I like putting the Teslas last. Some people don't, but I, I'm a fan. Uh, first, let's fill in. Might as well put a storage here. And we'll go heavy. <coughs> we'll go heavy storages here. You want to be careful to some extent with storages because they do let you get good bowler bounces, electro dragon bounces. But the flip side is they're tough on miners and dragons and stuff trying to push through the base, heroes, kill squads, anything non-defensive targeting. So it's a double double-edged sword. But if you put them in the right locations, not in the middle of your base, but kind of inside the walls, but towards the outside, people aren't going to get a whole lot of value from them. Uh, this might be one of the locations I'll elect to put a slightly smaller HP building. Um, same with uh, with this area. I think we'll just go light. We'll put it touching there. Then we'll put a storage here. Um, and then we, if we're building the entire base, we continue to fill in storages around it and whatnot. Uh, <coughs> but for right now, we're just going to go ahead and put the Teslas and the traps down. And that will be all the major stuff we want to deal with. Um, want to make sure there's some tough giant bomb opportunities on the back end. So um, I think we're definitely going to want a giant bomb like here. A little bit out of the way. They don't want to have to heal there. We're going to force a heal. Um, here and some of the ones on the outside are also to kill witches. It's always a consideration. Um, and then I think with the hogs possibly coming through that area, we also want to push them long with a giant bomb. Really stretch the heal spells. Um, which is why I think a nice little combo of Teslas, kind of nesting a giant bomb between them would be a nice value. Um, and then we can also uh, keep one nestled up by the eagle here. And then I think might as well have one. I, I hesitate to put it too much in the path of a potential wall wrecker, but... <coughs> I'll put it off to the right, assuming that the attacker will likely not come too strong on that single inferno with any type of wall record push. Um, okay, looks good. I want to also put a Tesla like right up here. Actually, no. <coughs> um, let's see which way we want to point our sweepers. I think we definitely want one pushing back whatever is on the single inferno. And uh, the beauty of the sweepers is you can kind of move them as your base develops and what you see what you need. Uh, I think there might be something to... I'm a little bit split on what to do with this other sweeper. Um, let's just do it over the multi. When in doubt, just cover your infernos with the sweepers. Uh, we'll slide the queen in one further. Um, all right, everything looks pretty good here. I, I like the way the base is shaping up. Okay. And... Um, we're just going to go ahead and put it down our tornado trap. Don't necessarily put it right in the middle of everything, because that way you want it to hold up troops in a location where there's de defenses <coughs> nearby that do damage. Um, it's in, a, in an area around defenses, but not necessarily where all the defenses are located. Um, we could also actually, maybe this is a good place to kind of trap them with uh, if they're coming in with a push here or something. Yeah, actually, up there is better almost. That way we're kind of trapping a push coming through. I definitely use an ice golem in the CC as well to kind of okay. stop some kind of push and slow things down. Um, I saw it. Let's put a Tesla out here. I think that's a nice way to kind of <coughs> surround the Inferno, make sure it can't get hit by, like, a stone slammer or something. And finally, let's put our last Tesla 
Uh, let's put it up over here. Single Inferno can cover it well if there's like a golem or something for some reason. Okay, uh, Spring Traps, want to keep them mostly on the back end away from the queen. Great locations there. Uh, definitely put one here. Might as well have one on the outside. That's mostly between defenses. Um, also helps kill witches and stuff. We'll put one up here. And um, let's see, last spring trap. Where do we want it? Um, let's just put it on this air defense right there. It's not the best location, but it should get some action right, if it's just flashing. sitting there. Actually, we'll put it on the expo, even better. Okay, looks good. Um, seeking air mines, some things to think about with the SAMs here. I uh, definitely want one over here. This is a little area with not great air coverage, no air defenses or anything. Um, this area is going to be okay, probably. I don't think anyone's going to try to commit that single air defense or anything. Um, I might, in the event of like a queen charge with the stone slammer, I'd be worried about this area. Um, so I'm going to put some Sams out here. And I think also Electro Dragons. Stuff to think about for that area. Um, put one out by this Tesla here. Test the combo. And I think our last one, we'll just kind of keep it home here on this air defense. All right, looks good. Red air bombs, definitely want to hit this uh, multi with them to really get a punch there. Um, we'll sprinkle one in right here, if we can kind of put it behind the eagle almost. Uh, not the best location, we'll keep it there. Um, and then in the event of something on the back end, put a uh, red air bomb there. And we got one more. Uh, I think we should maybe kind of double up on this, uh, let's do this mortar out here. It's a good location for it. All right, I think that covers everything besides these last few traps here. Um, skellies, I think we're gonna want to have one ground there, put one ground by each inferno is a good rule of thumb I like to do. And then we'll keep one, uh, not in the eagle, but by the queen. I like ground skellies right now, so I'm gonna go with that. And then these red bombs, I like to sprinkle them around the outside of the base. Not necessarily to kill wall breakers like they may have used to be used for, but to, if a witch trips them, then any nearby skeletons are gonna get killed, which can help the defenses lock on to witches. Um, you can clump them together, but right now I'm kind of liking the spreading them out here. Also can lock onto the King's Barbarians because he's so often used on the outside of the base these days for funneling, um, for like a queen charge or something. So I think this is it. This is our base, guys. Um, I like it. Uh, I think it's a solid base. Check the CC radius. Um, nothing's going to be lured out too easily, which is good. Like I said, I'd probably go with an Ice Golem Dragon right now. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically it. I mean, not... Not the most in-depth base building here, but it's it's quick. That's how the series is meant to be, under 20 minutes. Give you guys an idea of how I go about building a base, and I think this is a pretty good example of a Town Hall 11. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.